Good morning, everybody. I actually slept in today. It, I slept in till six. I know it sounds ridiculous and it's a joke and I remember me making fun of Bart for that, but I've been waking up at four in the morning just so that I can get the most out of my day and I can end my day sooner so that I can spend time with that guy over there. We'll get to him in a little bit. Um, but yeah, morning time now. I'm gonna start my day off with a fresh can of matcha here. Let me open this up. I'm gonna show you how I hook it up. There we go. I get about a tablespoon. Oh, like about half. It's a lot of matcha. And then with this, I already have a water heater here. It just it constantly keeps the water hot. So I think it's a really really good purchase if you drink a lot of coffee or make soup or you feel like you need water hot water readily available this is your guy okay so i put a little bit of water and then i'm gonna just get this i just go side to side i'm sure there's a better technique to it but this is our ceremonial green tea. Okay, I like to make it frothy. See that? It's already getting frothy. And I only add this amount of water because as you can tell, I'm like beating it up and whisking it pretty aggressively. So it prevents it from falling out. And I feel like I can get in there really good. Plus you want to whisk because it uh, aerates the green tea. So all the really good green tea aroma and flavor and stuff um, comes out and I guess my fridge is such a mess right now like it's always kind of empty okay yeah it's kind of empty we don't really have that much food I remember growing up we had way more food because my mom cooked and my grandma lived with us so we always had a fridge full of pots and pans with food in it okay now we move on to a creamer pick the creamer of your choice or you can do a simple syrup. Simple syrup is water and sugar. Um, and it's one to one ratio. So if you put one cup of water and you put a cup of sugar, that's it. Or one tablespoon to one tablespoon of water. I do about that much, but I would just say do it to taste. I think that's enough. I don't need more sugars in my life. And then go back here. Get some more water. And I purposely like doing it from this height because again, I feel like it makes it frothy. Look at that. And literally in less than five minutes. Perfect. You ready to go? That's it. Alrighty, so Papa is back from his run and he just got his lunch ready because he's doing Jagan News today. And here's a little, a little pro tip for you guys that are trying to you know, just watch your weight a little bit more and, and possibly even lean out or get cut. Um, go with a food, a prep food company. So if you don't have that much time, um, and it, mind you, it, it can be a little bit pricey because you're paying like 14 bucks a meal. But again, right, like it's the opportunity cost. If you don't have time to meal prep, because meal prepping honestly takes hours. Like it takes such a long time we just couldn't keep up with it so we went with a meal prep company this guy's not eating so i took away his blanket so that's what you guys hear please eat thank you after you eat i'll give you your blanket thank you um so he got extra side of protein this one's teriyaki beef let me see and i could tell you the name but they're a local company so if you're not in the LA area, it's kind of pointless, but there's so many, you guys, it doesn't, like, um, it does it also, they can even do it out of state, so it just depends on who you go and how big they are, um, do your research, get some reviews, but, yes, it's always good to just have healthy food just waiting for you in the fridge, because usually when we start, you know, declining in our food intake is when we're tired, we don't want to think about food, so it's like, okay, let's just get something fast, and when you get something fast, you're like, Screw it, I'll get fast food, I'll get whatever. And that's when it's the most cut calorie dense. Um, and if you're not burning more than you're consuming, then that's when you start gaining the weight. 
So that's what's in our fridge right now. We have meal preps, like no joke. See? And then what we like to do is we like to recycle. So we, we keep the containers, we wash them, and then we give it back and then they give it back to us or I give it to my mom and my mom uses it and we just disperse it in the family. And now we have a bunch of to-go food. Uh, monkey, what did I tell you? No, what did I say? What did I say? You guys are gonna be here with the parenting. What did I tell you to do? Are you eating? Yeah. Look, is he eating? It doesn't look like you're eating. <laughs> eat. Let me see you eat more, and then once you eat more, I'll give you your blanket. But until then, no blanket. Don't take it. I'm not gonna take it. It's right here. I'm gonna get this. Uh, then I'm gonna take it. Eat. Okay. Eat. He's been sitting here for so long, his hair is dry now. Remember when I just showed you it was wet? It's dry now. And he still hasn't eaten his food. <sighs> Alrighty, so the matcha has kicked in and I feel good, I feel ready. But before I get to work, I'm actually gonna um, go for a little run. But I wanted to share some shoes that I just got for running, not sponsored at all. Um, but they've been life-changing. So back in the day when I ran a lot more, I would use um, Asics a lot. Uh, I think they're called like the Keanos, the gel Keanos, something like that. Something like that. Um, and those are cool, you know? And then I haven't really ran for distance in like years, you guys. Like honestly, I haven't ran consistently or for distance in forever, so I never really needed shoes. So now that I started running, you're gonna laugh. Everyone that runs or you know about running, you're gonna laugh at me. I was running in these guys. So these are like a version, a variation of fly knits. And they're so comfy, right? Cause like, this is just like knitted material. So they're super flexible, but there is no cushion at all, as you can see here. And I was running in these guys three, four times a week for probably a month straight. And I've had shit split, shin splits before. And um, I only had them in high school because that was the first time I even discovered what shin splints were, splints were. And if you don't know what it is, honestly, it's so painful if you don't take care of it right away. But it comes from you putting too much impact too quickly on your shin and you'll feel all of this get really, really sore and it feels like you have micro fractures. Like it honestly feels like you injured yourself to the point of no return, but scientifically you don't really injure yourself. Like it's, you're not even injured. Um, it's just you're putting a lot of strain on your shin and your bone here And then what ends up happening is this all hurts and if you don't treat it then your knee starts hurting and then your hip starts hurting So when I started feeling that I was like, uh oh, I need to change my shoes So I went to a specialty running store and I highly recommend if you're a runner or you want to get into more running um, to please Go to a specific running store. They have the ugliest shoes But they are the most effective and they're the ones that are going to save your joints so I highly, 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 highly recommend that. We have a few out here in Pasadena, Glendora, and LA and stuff. Um, and this brand is a pretty reputable brand. Again, so ugly. But these are the shoes I got. These are the Bondi 7s. I got these. Look at the cushion. Look at the difference. <laughs> Look at this versus this. Yes, baby? So this is made for running. As you can see here too, like it's even wider on the sides. Um, this kind of has a little bit, but not really. But yeah, it's wider on the sides. It's a lot stiffer because I just have more ankle mobility. And when you go into a specialty running store, they make you walk back and forth so that they can see how your feet are positioned, how your angles are positioned, just how you walk in general and how you're stepping. And then they can prescribe um, what shoe you should buy. So for them, they were like, oh, you have like a lot of movement in your ankles. So you might want to get something different. And then they brought out two different models of the Hoka's because I've just heard so many good things about Hoka's. Bart's flat footed. He ran a marathon, a full marathon in Hoka's. And I'm like, if you're flat footed, didn't get shin splits and your foot didn't get extremely tired, these are probably some good shoes. So yeah, I tried on two different pair. I tried these on, I forgot the name of the other ones. But it's okay, don't take my word for it. Definitely go to a specialty running store. And um, the other shoes just felt, they were super cushiony, but they just felt more like pillows and they were too soft for me. So I went with something a little bit stiffer and I got these guys. Again, they're so ugly, but they feel amazing. I've been running in them already for about two weeks and shin splits are gone. If you currently have them or you feel like you're developing it, this is the way you can 
You want to massage it, and then you want to do this. You want to do this exercise. Stretch it down, stretch it all the way up, hold it. You do want to massage it. You do want to rest. So not too much running, and then it'll go away. But yes, if you're on the market for running shoes, look into Hoka's. There's different. There's different running shoes out there. Like there's Asics. There's Misuno. Those are like the legit running ones. Um, Nike so much isn't there. Nike's more like maybe top 10. These guys are like top three, top five. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend like the popular brands. I wouldn't recommend Nike. I wouldn't recommend Adidas. I wouldn't recommend any of those, even though those look way cooler. If you want to see if your joints and your, and your bones and stuff and your muscles, go with the ugly. The uglier the shoe, the better. It seems like weird. So I just got back. <clears throat> Whoa. I just got back from running. Oh, and I hate running. I hate running so much. So I purposely wanted to be better at it because <laughs> it's a weakness, right? Like I think it's, I think I've like had this limiting belief that I suck at it. So therefore I hate it. But the only way to get better at it is by doing it more so I could hate it less. And then I have one less thing to, I don't know, use as a crutch, I guess. So I started running more. This has been the first month or actually last month because we're already in February, uh, where I ran at least, like I said, three times a week. And today was the first time I ran three miles in years without stopping. Granted, it's a 12 minute mile. I do not give a fuck. I didn't stop and that's what I'm proud of. Cause usually it's my mindset, right? Like your body can endure so much and your brain is the one going, it's okay, we could stop because it's self-preserving, but your body's like, let's go, let's go. And it's this battle of the two. And because the brain is smarter, the brain tends to win. And in most cases, my brain was always like, you've done enough, you can stop here. You know, specifically with running. Everything else, I'm like, shut up, you little bitch, let's go. But with running, I'm like, yeah, you're right, I hate it. So today I was like, shut up, you little bitch. And if it means slowing down, because I'm also competitive, so I don't want to go slow, but I'm like, I got to get better at this. I got to change my mindset. Uh, so the only way to do that was by slowing down my pace and just staying consistent. And as soon as I started hearing that voice going, stop, stop, I put my head down and I was like, more reason for you to go, bitch. <laughs> and I did. And I'm so proud of myself. I even sent Bart a text of like, I'm so proud of me and showing him proof that I ran three minutes, uh, three miles in 12 minutes. It got a little bit slower because I started doing a cool down walk. Um, but nevertheless, I did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to take a shower because this ain't cute. Ah, the diaper monster. <laughs> Can I take a picture for Papa to send him while he's at work? <laughs> You're so funny. All right, so work day done, but the work isn't done. You know what I mean? Now it's time for me to train. This is my schedule. This is actually, I'm actually on month two of my slow comeback. I like how Papa always names my programs. Proud Mama program block one. And right now I'm on Proud Mama program uh, block. Hey, you didn't change it, Bart, but it's supposed to be block two, but yeah. Here we are, my numbers. It's really good to keep track of your progress or else you're just gonna keep doing the same thing and just going based off the of feel, so you're never really gonna progress. So if you're on a program or you're doing your own program, yes, my love, I like your hat. I'm ready. This doesn't fit you anymore. I'm ready. Okay, let's go outside. Um, I highly recommend you writing as much information as you can. For me right now, all I'll write, baby, what did I say when people are talking? You have to wait your turn. Thank you very much. Give me one minute. No. Five minutes. No. Okay, then just wait. Um, yeah, it's good to write information like how, you know, how heavy was that lift? How did it feel? Did it feel like it was heavier than you thought? Like I would write as much information so that you can refer back to it when you're doing the same exercise a week later or however you're doing it. Um, yeah, and it'll really help with progress. All right, let's go train. Ready to go outside? Your hat is... You want me to put your hat on better? No. Okay, you got it. What are these called? What are these? Golf, golf ball. Good. 
job. He kept saying, he kept saying ghost balls. And I'm like, what are ghost balls? And then once he showed me, I was like, oh, ow. I hurt my finger. I was like, oh, golf balls. You're going to put them down this slide? That's pretty smart. Nice. I love your hat, dude. I love it. What is that? Let me see. Whoa, that's a dead spider. Oh, they die and they curl their legs up. That's kind of cute. I know, it might, don't touch it, okay? It might have poison. Alrighty, so this is the gym setup. It's honestly gonna change every training day for me because we're on a slight slope. I don't know if you can even see it, but we're sloping this way. So I didn't even realize that, but as I was training like a few months back, I didn't realize and I didn't change my position. I just kept squatting the same way. So now my right leg is so much stronger than my left leg. So now I'm changing it up every single time so that I can even myself out. Um, but I mean, I guess I only got to do this for another couple months before we move to Vegas. Ah! Oh, an update on that. Uh, we actually got a buyer for this house, which is awesome. That doesn't really mean anything. It just means we're a step closer to selling it, but the buyer can step out of it at any point. I mean, before we do escrow. Um, so for now, we're just hoping that the buyer moves forward in the house buying process. So that's really good news. And then on the other side, the Las Vegas side, um, we're starting our personal escrow with that house. And if all goes well, which I don't foresee it not, but shit happens, right? But if all goes well, then our escrow will close on the 30th, which means we'll be in there by April. So as soon as it closes, they give us the keys and that house is ours. So, yay! Like us, delivery service. If you need any movers, he's got his little lawn chair. He's got some golf balls. I'm not pushing. He's got no, no, this mine. construction hat. No, Good job. Don't show them. No. You're being rude. <sighs> oh, Lord help me. This kid is testing my patience every day. Every day. I'm trying to teach him about what's being polite, what's being rude. So I label the polite behavior and the rude behavior. And if I wasn't on a time crunch, I would be explaining to him why it's rude behavior. But for now, I'll let that one slide. Look at him putting it away like a good little boy. Alrighty, so I want to share a little toy, learning toy that I just bought for Taika off of Instagram. What? YouTube. What? Amazon. I'm so tired. I want to share an educational toy that I just bought off of Amazon. Sorry guys. Okay, this one's called the Multifunctional Digital Computing Learning Box from China. So I hope all of this now makes sense. This is so funny. Multi multifunctional digital computing learn there's nothing digital here there's literally nothing digital here i love it anyway what kids anywhere between 37 to okay i gotta read this out loud this product contains small parts may be produced the risk of asphyxia um what are you doing don't mess up your teeth he's brushing his teeth with a fake toothbrush Mess up his enamel. Does not apply to under the age of three children use. <laughs> 37 through 96 months children. Please people play under guardianship. Please people. If because. Oh my god I love this so much. If because of the playing children forced to make it broken toys. Small parts. 10 million do not swallow. Before use. Please the bags in time away to avoid <laughs> children playing cause sus sus suffocation. Sorry, I'm just laughing. Uh, at the time, do not belong to the toy of the appendages removed. 
I think they just used Google Translate. Okay, wait, there's more. Warning, choking hazard. Contains small parts, not suitable for children age three and below. Okay, that one's good. Stimulate senses, imagination, thinking, thinking skull. I love it. I love it. What's this stuff say? Okay, it's the same stuff. Okay, here we go. More, 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 more. Co caution. Children must use it under the adults' tutelage. Tut tutelage. Don't throw the toy away to each other. <laughs> Don't use it if there is any quality problem. Don't keep the toy in the mouth. Prevent children. Prevent children. Devour small parts and toy. <laughs> I have to frame this box. This is amazing. Okay, well, besides... Ah, stop! What are you doing? I just brush my teeth. Don't brush with that, okay? You're gonna mess up your enamel. I mean, that's fine. They're gonna fall out anyway. No way. I always forget that part. Isn't that such a weird part of us? We lose our teeth. And then we get our permanent teeth in. That's so odd to me. Anyway, in the box. But besides that, everything that it contains on the inside is really, really cool. Okay, I know I made a lot of fun of it. Honestly, I hadn't read it before reading it to you, but okay, anyway. Okay, here we go. So it's gonna show them how to read time. Um, you can do multiplication, division, subtraction, addition here. And then you just teach them how to add, subtract, divide, whatever. And then, you know, you do them long form, the time. And then on this side, on the other side of this, there's um, a blackboard. And then here, you can use these things to help you. Good little sticks. It looks like we've already been playing with it, as you can tell. Like this. That was pretty cool. It was like 10 bucks or something. So I got it. Um, and yeah, I think, I think I've been teaching him everything, literally everything, but not math so much. That's not my strong suit. So I don't ever really think about it. Isn't that horrible? But I just thought about it now. Cause I think he's ready. So we're back on track. I'm not a shitty mom. Okay, cool. But that box though, so good. It is so good. Let go. Okay, and then got this game. It's a spelling game, cognitive alphabet spelling and exercise thinking. Okay, this is all in English. Okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah, so we're gonna teach Taika how to spell. So as you can see here, he just has to get the little letters, put it in, and then we're gonna sound it out. And you're gonna read. Yay! Bozo. Ow, again? What did I say about hitting people, dude? So far, so good. He likes the game. Let me see. I want to show you guys what he's doing. Monkey, don't be rude. Thank you. What's A, mommy? What's this A? You gotta look for it, my love. Which one looks like an A? This, uh, this look at an A. This look this look. Yeah. I found it. Good job. Let me see. Woohoo! This good. This right. Does that fit? Good job. What letter is that? What letter are you looking for? This is this. What letter is this? That's a J. I see it. I found it. Let me see. Another one. This is Yeah. What letter is it? T. Yeah. That's how you spell Taika with a T. It's There you go. Okay. What's the word spell? Good job. Okay, let's clean it. Good job. Uh oh, miss. It's okay. We don't, try not to throw things, okay? Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Clean it up. Okay, what's this one say? An ant. Yeah, spell it. A U. No, N. N. T. Good job. And what's that? An ant. An ant. What is it? What are you? I think I'm gonna look for you. <laughs> I could do this, this one. Let's go 
goes right away. Right there? Good job. And it needs to cover this one. It goes right the other way. There you go. Good job. What about this? You're doing really great. Mm, well, what letter are you looking for? This. Tell me the name of the letter. Mm, What's the name of the letter? This red. Baby, listen to mommy. What's the name of the letter? I don't know. N. N. Mm. It's this M. That's an E. What's M? I take one little look. Look for it. You can figure it out. Mm, you just gotta look slowly. You have to be patient. Oh. Yeah, we don't need it all. What is it? It's right there. I see it. Where? Look for it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Just look for it slow. <gasps> Did you find it? Oh, it's right by your thumb. That's an S, baby. <laughs> right there, right there. Where? Oh, right there. <laughs> Where's that spell? An L. Good job. Want to do another one? Yes. Well, there you. Whoa. Are you scared? Yeah, thank you. There you have it. Get it for your <laughs> Get it for your kids. It's a hit. It's a big hit. Do you like this game? Baby? Do you like this game? Yeah. Good job. Can you give it the camera for me, please? On the hand. Okay, I'll give it to you. Thank you, my love. Papa is back from filming JK News all day. And right by our JK office. We live by a King Taco and I love King Taco. I don't even know if I love it because the flavor is good or just because it's nostalgic, but I missed it. And I'm like, oh, before you come home, can you bring some? Did you grow up on King Taco? Yeah. Oh, maybe it is nostalgic. I'm like, can you bring a, can you bring King Taco? It is also and bum, good. Bum, 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 bum. It is also good though, because there's so many locations. So you know, there's like, it's very popular. Then that's how they expanded. Then it's good. And I'm eating good tonight, baby. I ordered, he ordered the all meat burrito because he's on a diet. Mm -hmm. And yes, I'm on a diet too. Um, but I didn't know what else to give Taika. So this comes with beans and rice. So I give him the whole thing, but I just cut. Can you stop? That's very rude. But then I just cut it all up. Such a punk. Excuse you. And then I get agua de piña, which mm -hmm. is pineapple water. So if you don't know what to order, get the agua de piña. Get a asada burrito, you can get it all meat if you're on a diet-ish, because I mean, there's still a lot of fat. Or you can just get it with rice and beans, chili on the side, and I get some asada tacos, and you're pretty safe. Oh, and the sopes, those are bomb. Oh, and the nachos. The quesadilla is good there too. The asada nachos are good, the quesadilla is good too. And the, what other? The what? lengua is good too. The lengua tacos, I tongue. Lengua. That means tongue. The suadero is good too. Suadero is uh, beef. It's like a beef, but it's like soaking in like uh, sausage juices. Yes. We hooked you up. So if you don't know what to order at King Taco, we got you. Are you excited? Yes. Why are you excited? Because I want, I want to be better. I'm so excited. Yay. Okay, so we're, let's, what are we going to do first? My Okay, let's go drink your milk in your room. Push it like baby. So he's super excited since last week. We've been talking about, whoops, we've been talking about him us sleeping together. So I told him, hey, on Friday, this was last Friday, I told him. Your bed, your bed, and your bed. Okay. Seven, three, seven, three, three times. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, I told him last Friday we were gonna sleep together. So he was just telling you guys. Okay, monkey. Whoops. So then he was just telling you guys how many times he slept in my bed since he can remember, and it's been those many times. Um, but yeah. So today's the day, and then today he was like, Mama. Today I'm sleeping in your bed. I'm like, yep, you're sleeping in my bed. So he's really, really excited for it. Mommy, let me turn out the light. And I watched the popcorns and I watched TV. Turn out the light. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Do that for the morning. Okay. Not at the night. In the morning time, we'll do that. Ugh. Okay, drink your milk. And then we'll get ready for bed. Let me play a little bit. No, you gotta drink your milk. It's already nine o'clock. 
That's your it's already your bedtime. Hurry up, dude. No, it's already your bedtime. Yes, my bedtime too. Hurry. I'm Papa's bedtime. Exactly. Alrighty, so Papa has to film JK News tomorrow, so he can't sleep with us because we're not gonna get a lot of sleep. Just if you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't have kids, lucky you. But kids like to roll around in bed. They kick you, they yeah. flip upside down. They do some crazy acrobatics while, while they're sleeping. So I'm pretty sure Tyke's gonna be sleeping on my neck. So Papa's like, I can't afford not to sleep because I have to, you know, be on camera for hours tomorrow. So he's gonna stay here. So Papa has all his stuff that he needs. He brought his charger, his blanket. Okay, go to sleep. Go in your bed. No, my bed. I don't want to get my room. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> he looks at me like, are you crazy, woman? Mommy, you used to be your, 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 my bed. And it has to be your bed. You want to be your bed. Okay. <laughs> Do I get to hang out with you guys at least tonight? Can Papa hang out with us? Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right, everybody. We're going to get settled in. Thank you so much for chilling with us. See you guys tomorrow. This kid. Where's your mute button? Where's your, where's this blanket? Where's the mute button? Should I, should I bring this blanket? No. This one? Oh, he's just going to tuck in with you? In my blanket? He doesn't really sleep with this one. This is his comfort blanket. Like, it's a blank blanket, blanket, blanket. I have a blanket blanket. Okay. So he's gonna, that's what I'm saying. So he's gonna use your blanket blanket? Yeah. Okay. Why do you call it blanket blanket? Because then that's not even his real blanket. That's his bushy. No, he's sleeping in my blanket. Yeah, with his bushy. Yeah, and? Yeah, make sure. He's going on. I'm so confused. See you guys tomorrow. Where's your mute button? What was Papa say bushy? I gotta go. I gotta go. Mommy, I got. Mommy, <laughs> mommy, what, what Papa said, huh? What Papa said, bushy. Isn't this your bushy? No. <laughs> What's your bushy then? If this is bushies. Papa said bushy. That's why I told to go. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Say good night. Good night. Bushy. Good night. Oh. What the hell is going on? Uh...